Welcome to Bad Hotel Coffee Chat, Volume 5. This is my Bad Hotel Coffee. It is Grey Cup Sunday. The day is finally here, so uh, quite exciting. Weather here has gotten better. It's only like minus 6 degrees here. Uh, today, for game time now, they're calling for winds of uh, 45 kilometers an hour gusting to 65, which is sort of what it was like uh, when the Ticats played against Montreal in Guelph in the Eastern Semi. So uh, the coin toss is going to be <laughs> one of the most important plays of the game. Uh, so it's it's going to be a uh, – if it if the forecast holds true, it's going to be a major major factor in the game. So it should be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, <clears throat> last night uh, I went out for dinner to a really nice uh, steakhouse called Golf's Steakhouse and uh, with a bunch of other uh, journalists and it was like – Golf's is uh, a Regina institution, a very popular restaurant uh, in downtown Regina, and so there was just a ton of of CFL uh, people there. Uh, there were some coaches from the Ty Cats. There were a couple of players there. Wally Bono was there. Travis Lule was there. Uh, you know, Brian Williams from CBC was there. Uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, you, you know very. Um, prominent CFL folks so it was uh, it was really great it was it was fun to sit with a table of uh, you know 10 or 11 other CFL journalists it was organized by Murray McCormack at the Regina Leader Post who's sort of <clears throat> you know a, the you don't want to call him the host but he's you know a guy that obviously um, everybody knows has been doing the job for a long time so uh, it was great to sit at a table with uh, you know 10 or 11 other CFL journalists and just you know, talk about the job, talk about the business, talk about the challenges that you face. It's it's your these are your colleagues, right? I have more in common with these people in some respects than I do with the people I work with in the at the Spectator in some in some regards. So it's really enjoyable to to just chat with them and and listen to the things that they face on a <clears throat> daily basis. Uh, Uncle Milty didn't join us. He went to Tiger Town last night. I'm telling you, man, that guy is he is uh, the Energizer Bunny of. Uh, of columnists, he has uh, a level of energy that I simply couldn't match under any circumstances. He's, you know, more than twenty years older than I am, and he has twice the energy. It's quite remarkable. Uh, I didn't see him last night because I went for dinner and came back and <laughs> went to sleep. And he was probably I don't know, man. He's probably still out there having a good time. Good for him. Uh, you know, I think he's uh, enjoying this experience, and I'm really happy uh, for him that he that he got to have it. Uh, we have a FRC uh, breakfast this morning, which is the Football Reporters of Canada. Uh, and then after that, it's just basically getting ready for the game. Um, you know, game time here is 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock Eastern time. But uh, we'll have a bunch of prep work to do. Plus, you got to get there. And, you know, I want to go and get settled and do all that stuff. So it's uh, – it's a it'll this this day will you know be all about the game, which is you know after all what what we're actually really here for. Sometimes it's hard to think about the fact there's actually a game at the end of this, but it's it certainly feels uh, feels real today. That's for sure. Um, one of the things that I just you know I'm, I'm I'd be very interested to see what the mood likes is in Hamilton. You know that's one of the things you miss out on to a certain extent, just to see how people in the city are reacting from what I'm. From what I hear, it's been really great, and people are really into it, but you don't really get that sense from here. Obviously, here, uh, people are, it's just, it's all riders all the time. I mean, the, the, there's green everywhere. We were at this, we were at this steakhouse yesterday, last night. The, it's a very seafood experience. Basically, this five-person brass band just walked through the steakhouse playing tunes. They're all dressed up in green mohawks and goggles and all this crazy stuff, and it was... Uh, it was just a, a very – those sort of odd, strange things happen all the time at the Grey Cup, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty – yeah, it's a good time. So um, this uh, by this time tomorrow, the next time I do this, uh, we'll know who has won the Grey Cup. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. So we'll talk to you tomorrow.